Oh, uh oh. Hello, all. <laughs> Seriously, is here. I moved my entire No Man's Sky game window off of my screen when I switched windows. That was the, that was weird. Uh, the whole window moved to my mouse cursor, and it it went off screen uh, until I clicked. I had to move, drag it back to the top. Weird stuff. Anyway, what we're gonna do today on this old save is uh, take a peek in at my frigate missions. Take a look. Those are all support frigates. What's What's happening? Where's all of my living frigates? They're max level. I max leveled all of my living frigates. We're gonna quickly stop in with them. Uh, we're also gonna pop in over at Permadeath real quick because we got something to check in at over there as well regarding frigates. Uh, are we? Nah, we'll just stick to the save. We'll follow the game plan. We're gonna go check out the portals today that I've set up. Uh, the bases I've set up at Galactic Portals. That's what we're doing today. But let's just show off this saves max level living frigates. We're gonna go check them out on finishing permadeath. Here are the stats of these ones as they finished. Uh, it's got a plus four to combat there, it's hard to see. Six to industry, four to industry. It's pretty good plus to industry, plus 10, but that's why this is at 26, right? Uh, and this would be at 19. 19 is fine. This is 19 is what I expect from a support frigate, and this is a living ship support frigate, that's fine. We have a 13% duration reduction, which is just fantastic. Uh, we have no fuel reduction bonuses though. So, yeah, mm, pretty good, could be better. Uh, what do we got over here? Ah, that one is a plus something to trading. If I change the angle I'm viewing at, I still can't see it. We're really way too close to this planet. <laughs> Uh, this one has a minus 15 to fuel, and that's about it. It has no reductions to uh, duration. The stats are really good for a support frigate. Like, phenomenal. Uh, they must come from... Oh, I can see it now. Uh, that cloud is helping. It's a plus 6 to trading, and a plus 6 to industry overall, plus a 4 combat. So, that's why they're above average. Yeah, it's not out of, out of reason that this is giving us the good stats here. What do we got here? We can't see that one. There you go. If you if you can't see your living frigate, go over one and come back to it, and, and it usually pops in. I've found that to be the case. Stats could be better. 17 is a little on the low end. Uh, that probably means this ship cannot five-star a combat mission by itself. We could test that out real quick, like... Uh, it does have a 10% reduction to duration, which is fine by me. The other stats are actually only this good because of the bonuses. We got plus 5 to trading and plus 6 to exploration. This would be 15, and this would be 18. 18 is fine. 15 is not. That's a really low roll for having plus 5 over here. Eh. So we could do better. We could do a lot better. Oh, uh, we have one more. That's right, we got 4. So this guy, another stubby-tailed guy, he is a 1% duration, meh, 15 fuel cost, 21 fuel cost reduction, that's great, uh, and it's because of my mods, uh, not game mods, uh, modules that I have installed from derelict freighters, this is down to 1 on all of my living frigates from... 6 throughout to 12, I think your ships can, uh, depends on your default stats of your freighter. Your freighter, down here, this guy here, whichever one you have, has a default stat of fleet coordination. And it's going to be low. It's going to be something like 10 or 20. Very, very low number. You want to get that up to about 100 or more by installing modules from derelict freighters. And that gets you fuel reduction, just default. Just by default, you get a fuel reduction for increase, increasing your fleet coordination. It's a really good way to reduce the cost of your missions. Get those modules and install them, even if they're terrible. The more fleet coordination you get, the lower your cost. Also, by all means, ah, there we go. Now we can see stuff. Thanks, sunset. <laughs> uh, also, you do want to get the fuel reduction ones. They work now. They're phenomenal. That's why my stuff costs so little. It doesn't affect the fuel cost of your missions, those modules. It affects the fuel requirements of your frigates. That's how those modules work now. It reduces this cost directly. Fleet coordination also reduces this directly, but it reduces a bunch of things and increases a bunch of things directly. So fleet coordination is where it's at. Uh, this guy, I'm definitely going to keep this guy. I really like the excess fuel cost reduction, and the 1% is fine. A lot of my 
support for good stuff. We don't need that anymore. Uh, missions are so short. We really don't need that anymore, especially because that's one of the things that fleet coordination reduces. We'll just stop in and take a peek at the freighter. It's jam-packed with stuff from frigate missions. Fleet coordination 120.1. Uh, it's probably my best one. I think permadeath is a little bit lower, although I recently redid stuff on permadeath. We'll, we'll stop in there uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Today, we're heading to the portal bases. So we are going to take my new teleportal, uh, if we can get it to work. All right, we'll just walk around the back. That always works for some reason. Uh, and that's not because of the modifications I made here. That That's just because this room is really buggy. All right, so how many bases do we have to visit and how much time do we got? <laughs> 20 minutes or so, and we've got a Euclid portal, Isentam. We're only gonna hit the Lush Galaxy ones, I'd, I think. Yeah, because Galaxy 256 is technically not reachable by anyone. Uh, that's not a portal one. That's a people quadrant base that we sit down for a uh, multi-tool. I think we already got that one. We could delete that base. Uh, this is an S-Class derelict that's fast. It doesn't have a very good uh, roll at the end. It's just for storage augmentations. It's very easy. I think it's like seven rooms and you can skip half of them. So, very fast one. Uh, there's 19. I don't know why 30 and 39 are out of order. I guess I set those bases up first before I set up the one in 19. That's odd. Uh, there is a non-Lush Galaxy. I'm glad I've labeled these properly. So we're going to skip all of these ones here. I'm not setting up um, bases at them, but I'd like to go and see what we have set up at each and put in at least a portal so that we can get back and, uh, you know, a little tiny structure just to house the, the portal. We're not going to build them all today. We're just going to go and stop in and see which ones have which. And if it doesn't have a portal, I guess we're building a portal because we got to get out of there somehow, right? Uh, okay, so let's stop in at Euclid. We already know that we have, we can see it in the screenshot, but maybe it hasn't been updated. No, I know it has. We'll stop in at each and just take notes. There's another super tip that I recommend. Uh, take notes. Note stuff down, absolutely. Whether you're doing it on a piece of paper in a notebook or uh, on an app, <laughs> open your notes app on your phone or whatever and take note stuff down. Just write things down about what you want to remember doing. I have no idea what I'm doing most of the time because I don't write stuff down, but when I do, it's a lot easier. So we're going to take notes on what I need to do at each of these places. From the screenshot, it looks like this one has a power source. We only need a battery and two solar panels, and that's overkill. Um, you theoretically only need the one battery. It just might take a few days day cycles in game to power up fully enough to stay whoop, oh, skipped over there for a second on the sound uh, it might take a few in-game days to power up fully and that, that's that, don't look at me that is the procedural name of the planet i bet if i go and try to name it that it won't let me but you know, you can, you know whatever what are you going to do about it all right, stuff's loading in pretty good. Oh yeah, I've got those even merged into the teleporter fairly nicely. It's a shame that we're gonna have to move it all when we put a base in here, but okay. No base in Euclid. I could have sworn this was a desert. Was this not a desert? Oh, that's on permadeath, right? Okay, never mind. Uh, on permadeath, we have a Euclid moon base that is uh, a desert moon. All right, so we're gonna skip. And Euclid's neutral, but we're, obviously we're going to check in on Euclid. Let's go to Isentam again. It looks like we need a base structure there. And the reason I say that we're going to have to move that is because you don't want to build uh, ground underneath your portal when it's on the ground already. That ground is going to regrow and it's going to show on top of your floor piece anyway. You may as well just raise it up a short wall or two. That's why stairs exist, basically. Seems like they'll never solve terrain regeneration, and yeah, it's understandable. It's not exactly Minecraft we're playing. Well, sort of. Space Minecraft, with instead of easy to keep track of voxels that just eat up a lot of RAM, uh, you know, it's smooth terrain. Again, 
Planet Hope, that's the procedural name. I haven't named any of these places that I'm aware of that I remember doing. All right, we got our power. Yeah, this is even set up in a similar way. I guess I was setting these up at the same time. All right, that's good to know. I guess something we could do is color these to my blue and white or blue and silver color, but we'll do that when we build the bases. Not a big deal. All right, so Isentam needs a base. Noted. Next Lush Galaxy should be 19. We have uh, 39, and for some reason they're out of order now. Hmm. Whatever. And 30, but there's 19. We'll go there first. Again, looks like we need a base there. Oh, that was weird. Hmm. I have a weird icon on my phone that I don't recognize. It looks like the sound icon with a line through it, but a line beside it. I don't know what it is. What's going on? While we're warping, let's see what's going on on my phone. Oh yeah, my sound is muted, that's all. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Good. <laughs> I could have sworn it looked different than that. I, I've muted my sound before. Maybe they changed how it looked. Wow, that's a neat spot for my ship to, to appear, uh, appear on planet Belgi. It's almost planet Benji. If I was gonna change the name of Belgi, it would be to Benji. Nice planets I've found. I'm usually settling on a nice lush planet when, you know, I'm picking a lush galaxy. All right, nice uh, orientation of this stuff here, but we're gonna have to move it to, all right, galaxy 19 also needs, oh, wait a minute, are we on? Uh, where would that show up as? Would it look like that? Are we on my settlement planet? How do I zoom in on that? <laughs> yeah, little Askemi. Yeah, we are... Okay, so we don't want to really... Hmm. Yeah, I got to leave this base here because I want to mark the portal. But what I have to do... I'm going to note this down. I have to move my Isidore Young uh, Galaxy 19 portal because what I really want to do here at my settlement is move my base to the settlement and build around the settlement. So that's also going to have to take place for Galaxy 19. So move and rebuild. Okay. Noted. Glad we made that distinction instead of just thinking I needed a base here because I want to eventually move that thing. Uh, looks like 30 is next and then we'll have to go back a tab for 39. And, you know, this is all stuff I could have done off recording, but I thought you'd take you guys along with some of the minutia of keeping track of an old save and deciding what to do next. Like, we have to do some builds. I, I just started building on this save, basically. Some of these places have bases already, uh, little tiny rooms for the portal. I like doing that. It's fun. And it doesn't take a lot of time, little tiny base. But I've made my first big base. So we checked that out, I think... What, yesterday? I don't know when I'm uploading these. We'll, we'll figure that out later. But anyway, <laughs> started building, and I want to keep building on this save now. Uh, wasted a lot of my build parts probably on my freighter build on this save. That got me back in the building bug overall. That's why we're checking out stuff on my old permadeath save. I uh, want to see what I got, what I can... Ooh, planet Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Ooh, what do we have here? Nothing? Okay, whew. we do have a portal... And yeah, you see, we only have the uh, the one solar panel here. It probably just took a lot of time to uh, to get enough power. In fact, maybe it will shut off. What time is it? Yeah, it's not even midnight yet. It could shut off. Who knows? Who knows? So we've got more work to do here as well. This was Galaxy 30, right? Yes. What's it called? Subzertal. Sud Zerbel. Okay, Rumanawa, Galaxy 39. Uh, I don't see anything here at all in the screenshot, so let's warp there. But the fact that there is a screenshot leads me to believe I've built something. 
usually it, if you haven't built anything and you just have the base computer, it doesn't do a screenshot for you. I don't know how to get the screenshots. Sometimes they don't show up even when I have built stuff. I don't know what the, the criteria is for getting your base to show up as a screenshot in your teleporter list. It's very handy though. I very much like it when it works. Reading is such a bother. Seeing is a lot faster, isn't it? Words. Who's got time for that? We got pictures nowadays. Moving pictures. Ooh, do we have a chromatic effect here? Bukavachi Sase. That's a that's we gotta rename that one. We gotta move this one. This is a humid planet. It's gonna have storms. Yeah, what a what a bad planet. Okay. Uh, so were we in Subzertal now? We're 39. We gotta move that one too and build a base. We do have the two power though, the two solar panels. Okay. Yeah, Rumanawa, we have to move. This is not a great planet, unfortunately. Alright, so that's two that we gotta move as well. We gotta find new planets. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's exploration. That's fun. All right, after 39 should come 50. Where is 50? Uh, oh. Do we not have... Oh, there we are. 50. And that's the pattern we are following. If, you pay, if you're paying attention, we did Galaxy 10, Ice and Tam. Galaxy 19 is Dora Young. And then we went to Galaxy 30. The way it works is it's every 10... And then every 9 after that. So 10 and then 19. Well, what about 20? Well, that's only one away. We're not going to go just one away. We can just go to the center and go one away. So they skip that category, the 20s. They go to the next t 10. So basically it's 11, then 9. 11, then 9. 11, then 9. Right? Is that how it's working? Anyway. 19 to 30. 30 is 11, yeah. Okay, ooh. Uh, this is not my portal. I clicked on the wrong one. This is uh, the activated indium mine. Fun, fun, but not where we wanted to go. We got a base here at least. Um, let's check out 50 again. There it is. Taya Pilney portal, okay. Should have paid more attention when I clicked. So we do have a base built on this save, but it, you know, it's just floor panels. Not really anything fancy. Uh, it's a functional activated indium mine, so it's got that going for it, but we don't really need activated indium. We can make a lot more money a lot faster with nothing but flowers. Just making circuit boards out of cactus. Okay, here we go. Taya Pilney has a base, and this is what I'm talking about. This is what I... This is actually a huge one. This is way too big. This one goes all the way up to the actual portal and into the middle. And you can walk straight out through here when you don't have a portal going. Ooh, that's a neat screenshot. <laughs> oh, this one isn't built on a lush. It's built on a, uh, mm, I don't know how to describe this. <laughs> a glitch decoration planet, let's put it that way. Oh, that's interesting. How did I do this? How did I even do this? That's cool. Does it work? It totally works. That's neat. And you see what I mean? There's the ground growing back. So I've built directly on the ground here. And uh, that's, that's how tall it gets. So that's always going to appear even if I get rid of it, unfortunately. Do I do the same thing? I did do the same thing over here. Neat, neat stuff. All right, well, we don't need to uh, wander around here anymore. This would look pretty cool if we dialed, but we're not going to. All right, so this was Galaxy 50. We can just cross it off the list. We don't have to come back here. We're done. Let's go to 59. I also saw that down here. Oh, we, I can just see a base there. We'll go check it out. May as well. We got some time. This is going a little bit faster than I thought. Uh, we spent a bit more time on... Uh, frigates than I thought we would. So, 
this should be a little bit of a smaller base. I'm thinking all the rest of them probably have bases from here on in. If I s mm, no, all the ones this far down on the list probably have bases. But we saw that Galaxy 70 and 79, came, and I think 89. No, 90 would be a galaxy if 79 is. Uh, I think they all came before this in the list, so they might not have bases. Televisual. Did I name this? Oh yeah, I named this planet. <laughs> that could not be the procedural name. Let's check out the discoveries here. Yeah, I don't know why I named just this planet, but it's definitely been named. The whole system was, spuriously. <laughs> if we go here, I saw that was grayed out as well. Uh, yeah, so I named some stuff. I guess I wanted to set up a base here. All right, this is what we got going on. A little, bit, a little bit of another build directly into the surface of the uh, portal. We have the, the gate coming up here, a little fence. Don't know why, but I decided to put those in. All right, oh neat. We've got the stairs up here a little, a little step up just to keep this above ground. <laughs> Lesson learned on the last one, I guess. Whoops, no, no, don't want to go there. We were just there. So 59 is also good. So we want to go to 70. Oh, 79's after this. Looks like a stormy planet. That's not good. There's 70. And we don't, I don't, do we have a screenshot? I don't think we had a screenshot here. So, hmm, probably just a base computer. We might actually have to build something. And if it's night, we might need a biofuel reactor. <laughs> Which is fine. Like, uh, one carbon will probably last you four hours these days, so. We're getting there. We're getting there. We've got uh, 79... This is 70, right? 79, 90, and 99 to check out. Yeah, okay, well we have a portal, uh, teleporter, that's good. Ooh, what a good location. Humid planet as well, so this place can get storms. Mm. Might wanna move this one. All right, I'll put a maybe on my list. All right, and on to the next, we need to go to 79. Looks like we're all done down here. Okay. Oh, I can see a landing pad. So we have a base. Let's go check it out. Uh, eventually, all of these I would like to have bases at. I'd like to have a landing pad or two at each. And a little teeny hut some sort of thing to hold the portal. Might even be open air if Lush Planet, you know, doesn't have to have windows. Could just be pillars holding up the roof. Doesn't even need a roof. Just something to put the portal on that's a little bit fancier than plopping it on the ground. Okay, yeah, I recall this one with the upside down roof tile over here because it had a cool uh, little square to put that portal dial home device in. And uh, why did we pick this stormy planet? Extreme storm. Blasted atmosphere. Barren planet. Simoon is the name. Uh, probably wasn't any creatures here we were after if we haven't scanned anything yet. I mean, why did we build on such a crummy planet? Like, we built a whole base here. Is it just a really cool view or what? It is a really cool view. Oh, I'm scanning them in raw after all that. There's only seven creatures here. It is a nice view. It is a desert, maybe. Oh, did I want a creature? 
No, probably not that guy. <laughs> I don't know why I built here. I would have probably built on a lush planet if I could have. Maybe I was just in a hurry to build any sort of portal base at all. I don't know why I built a structure. Very weird, very weird. All right, on to the next one. But yeah, base computer's in the floor. It's fine. We can access it. All right, 79 is done. We're going to 90. Where is 90? Pei Ho Liang. Oh, we got something going on there. Looks like the exactly the thing we were just talking about, open air. I'd like a little bit more than this. We don't even have landing pads here yet, so we're going to put those in eventually. Maybe we'll try a similar trick to what I might have done on that last one. I think I recall how I did that. Uh, so we don't have to have those walkways. We can just have a door connecting straight to... Or, or no door even. We can just have the landing pads touching straight to the floor of the base so that it can stay open air. Maybe that's how we'll do it. We'll just leave those bases on those planets. Ooh, what a nice planet. Billowous storms, but I bet that we never get storms here because of these bubbles. Neat. Okay, so we have a portal. We've got power. It's even buried underneath. That's great. I did some extra work here. So we're not moving our location. We're leaving this as our base structure. That's cool. Off to 99. And then we're done. That's as far as I've gotten so far. We got to go to... Ooh. Hickenpav. Uh, we got to go to Galaxy 110. Don't know if we will start a new uh, semi-permadeath save for that just yet. We might actually just progress our new expedition save. Expedition 8 has just ended for everyone now. So that should unlock my base computer because I never did the optional <laughs> part of that expedition to unlock the base computer. So that save will update to a normal save and I'll actually be able to use it to build a base computer. Oh good, we got a base here too. That's great. See, this is the kind of open air base I'm talking about. It's a little bit fancier. I just need to put in the landing pads, basically. Ooh, we even have windows so we can look at our power. How, how, how thoughtful of me. All right, this is a great location. I like I like this location. It's nighttime. If you can get to Hickenpav. Here's what it looks like in the day. The green sky, burgundy grass. Not too bad, but I really like the rings like directly above us. Not so cool. Especially nice at night. But the planet is a bit uh, dark. Could have glowing bubble grass. <laughs> All right, well, this was the portal base tour. Uh, I've noted down which ones I need to build at now, which ones I need to move. Uh, I think just Galaxy 19, where I want to build the settlement base, is the one that I'm going to move. The rest can stay on their terrible planets, and we'll just build a shelter for them. Why not? Why not? <laughs> All right, that's it for today. Till next time, everybody. Have a good time.